And then, no, yes, no, but no, also, before you finish that, what they want you to do is sift the next things together. So before we finish the flour, we also want to put in... This looks great. This is great. You can stop because you did a good job. <laughs> That's fine. I think she loves it. Yeah. She loves it. Good. Um, when you buy teaspoons, get them that say, say teaspoon and milliliter because it will help you in your metric recipes that you have. And, of course, they make the can so you can make it totally flat. All right, so that's a teaspoon. We need two teaspoons baking powder. Well, look at this. I almost put it in there. I told you I'm not a good baker. Some cooks, they get confused. Baking powder, baking soda. Read five times. Be sure you use the right one. How much baking soda, please? No, only one teaspoon. One teaspoon. This absorbs moisture and smells, so I like to keep it in a bag. Then it doesn't take on a cinnamon smell or something. It's only the smell it's supposed to have, which is no smell. <laughs> She's playing with a toy with paper. That's her, that's her sound of play. Does anything else go in the dry ingredients? Oh, the cinnamon. Yeah. Thank you. Two teaspoons? Is yeah. that what it said? Thank you. Now that's a little bit more, so mm. the next one will be smaller. when I'm baked, everything looks like snow. And then when you sift it, it mixes it better. So you don't have the soda over here and the cinnamon over here. You have it all together. Sometimes with flour you'll see little like little white rocks. So if it's finished, then, you know, take it to the sink or whatever. And, but don't do a lot, because, you know, your measuring will be off. So we'll do two more halves. See? My mother's probably watching me. She's in heaven going, oh, no. <laughs> I didn't teach her. Not my fault. Not my fault. Later, we'll put that here. May I give the, the, the job to you? Yeah. <laughs> put that in there, yeah. and I don't care if you make a mess, then it's okay with me. All right, when we're finished sifting, and we'll check the direction oh, yes. many times. Yeah. Oh, I, I bet she decided to video this in the middle of the whole So, you're making a video? <laughs> yes, it's cooking in the kitchen with Terry. is okay, but this is, the kosher salt is a very good cooking salt, and you don't have to use so much. Sometimes with some salts, you salt, not enough, more salt, not enough, more salt, not enough, but with kosher, it won't happen that way. One teaspoon? Let's use the one we used already, but I'll hold it out over here, because I don't want to put too much salt on it, so if I spill, I won't ruin. Uh, probably I should have... Uh, sifted it, but I'll just mix well. I'll make sure it's mixed well. The salt mixes easily, and I have to get a dry spoon. In a minute, I'm going to mix these two. But let's say you're busy, and you have to do the laundry, and the, and the, the doorbell is ringing, and the telephone rings. You're okay until you mix them. Once you mix them, you better get it in the oven, because it, the chemistry starts. Okay, the, the, the baking soda and all the the chemicals start to mix. So as, as soon as, as the wet and dry are separate, okay. Mm -hmm. The baby needs you. You want to watch the favorite TV mm -hmm. show, whatever. But once you mix them, you better keep moving. Get it into the mm -hmm. oven as soon as you can. So that looks pretty mixed. Mm -hmm. And before I mix it, I want to... It says on the recipe, 
an ungreased cookie sheet. And I could use a deep pan or a shallow pan, and I've made it both ways, but today I'm going to do a shallow pan. But I disagree, I have made this many times, I disagree ungreased. I am going to give it a little bit of oil. Um, I don't want it to stick, but too much oil will be a problem. And not all of these are good, but this is a spray canola. Um, and it, does, it doesn't make it too heavy, but also I don't want it on my walls and stove. I think I'm going to, here's a sink, I can do it on this one. Just a little bit. You know, some people would say maybe that's too much. Uh, and it says don't use on like Teflon. It'll tell you in small print, don't use on nonstick, only on regular pans. Now. Pardon my using my hands, but I'm going to make sure that, thank you so much, it gets down to a small amount. Okay, my hand's pretty clean. I'm just going to feel and get it into the corners a little bit more. And you can use margarine, you can use butter, whatever you like. But not too much, because it'll change the recipe. It'll make the bottom mushy. Okay, since this is ready, and I preheated the oven to 350 uh, Fahrenheit, which I think is 180 centigrade. If you don't know, then you get a cookbook, and you open to the page, and you check. <laughs> yeah. Okay, don't guess. Don't guess, because a few degrees off could ruin your dish. And that's, that's available in almost every cookbook. It's easy to find on the internet. It's on the internet if you need it. Okay, we're ready to mix. Okay, let me get one more thing dirty. <laughs> Would you pour that in here, please, and I'll mix as we do it. Good. Sometimes in recipes you will read, don't over mix. Mix only a little bit and keep going all of it. We're going to use all of it. Because when you mix it, you take the air out, and some recipes need the air in. So this one, I don't think it needs air in or out, I don't think it matters. So you could stir as much as you need to. And go ahead and use one of those to get the rest out. And then after that, I'll use it. No, please do. I love help in the kitchen. I love it. I love it. I don't get enough. We love it. I have no daughters. My sisters live far away. My friends think I'm crazy, so they don't cook with me. Sorry. You always remember Indonesia when I cook with myself. Oh my God. Yeah, all along. Yeah. In Indonesia, we. You have help all the time. I love that. My Ida would get, was sometimes like my sister, like, you know, a friend. I like cooking with clear glass because if I have not mixed enough, I can see it. Yeah, so if you use a different one that's solid, you can't see that. Over here too? Good. Just best to look. And while this is in the oven, I'll give you some little secrets on how to frost in such a way that your guests will feel very special. Okay. I think we can pour this in. And I hope I don't miss, because this stove is not easy to... In a minute, I'm going to ask somebody to open the oven for me, but don't do it yet. And when you do it, open the oven and stand back, because a big wave of heat will come out, which is uncomfortable. So give it, you know, count one, two, three, before you get near the oven. This is nuts. Uh, they say put nuts in you want. I could sprinkle them, but I'm actually going to 
Sorry. <laughs> I'm bad. This is the kind of cook I am. I One time I was cooking with Ida, and I was ready to put it in the oven, and I said, I, I said, Ida, this is so different. And she looked at me, and she said, <laughs> and I had, I forgot everything. I mean, there was stuff on the counter that was never even in it. She's better at this than I am. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, maybe you can mix the... Yes. Because I have wet and dry mixed, so i got to hurry. <laughs> Thank you for your patience, lady. Oh, I, didn't mean to hit I didn't mean to put a comedy show. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Look at her cook. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate that. Super. You don't have to put nuts, but you're increasing the protein, you're increasing the minerals. Why not? Yeah. What kind of diet can you be on that you can't have nuts? That's what I want to know. Thank you. Although, Wheelie knows what diverticulitis is. Um, oh. It's in your intestines. When your intestines, instead of going smoothly, they go. Oh, well, my aunt and my good friend have it. They cannot eat nuts, and they hate that part of it. Nuts or any kind of seeds, which of course we love. Oh, that's right. She's washing it for me. Yeah. Just to spread the. Put yes. the yes. oil again. Yeah. Did I put it away already? Everything organic? Sorry. Is everything organic? No. I use this. What I look for is um, this can be extremely expensive. Mm -hmm. So I look for a deal, but be careful. I still want a good quality. Excuse me. And Do you have certain uh, towel to The one right to there is the best one. Thanks. The yellow one? Yep. Thank you. Gosh, I wish I could cook with all of you all the time. <laughs> um, they make a lot of imitation. Really, it's best don't oh. use imitation. Um, go to keep looking until you find less expensive. Uh, sometimes you get a little bottle like this, and it's like seven or eight dollars. Oh, yes. but please, I'm sure you can do better than that. So I look around for inexpensive but good quality, and no artificial. All right. Where did that spray go? Marty, thank you very, very much. <laughs> Yay, we're back on track. <laughs> okay. When I was growing up, the oven opened down like that, and my mother said, May, help me make this cake, help me make this cake. So I had two, two things of batter, and I was walking over, and the mm -hmm. oven was open, and one of them hit. And all the batter oh. spilled on the hot oven. Oh. So this one's not cooking. And this one was in the oven cooking on the oven. And I'm like, oh, what do I do? Because <laughs> I had to clean the whole oven. Yes. Yes. And then the birthday cake for 10 people had, it was only a small cake. <laughs> it was a bad day. That was my worst cooking day of my life, I think. Like, uh, like a, yeah. Like, what do you do? Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, you can memorize. <laughs> I could probably get more out, but you know, I'll tell you something. <laughs> this is actually, this pan is slightly smaller than it should be. You're going to see this rise up a lot. It should be a slightly, but the next pan I have is too big. So I'll just, that's all right. I've used it in this before, and it'll turn out. Good. So I won't worry about that. We're usually going to get every little bit out. Okay. Louise, would you open the oven for me, please? Okay. But just mm -hmm. count, to stand back. Which one is? That's it. Okay. Good. Oh, stand. My. One, Ready? two, three. Good. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's <it>. <laughs> <laughs> And now the blast is over, and you're okay. How much time should we cook it? So on, the, it's on the recipe. So for um, 25 to 30 minutes. This is going to be pretty thick. I'm going to go, it'll, I'll set 25, but I think it's going to need 30. So, timer. Okay.
25. Um, 